Here's somebody I want to berate about candy corn. Let's get fellow candy corn enthusiast Blake Butler out there. Yeah! Like, I think you're in the lightning round. We're in the lightning round right now, Sarath, right? You gotta, you gotta clear the stage down and get it ready for comedy pretty soon. Yep. Thank All right, so we're in the lightning round. Blake Butler, right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, host of the um, host of comedy Tuesday nights at down, the Falcon, downtown. Orlando's best nominated. Blake's so <laughs> he knew I was desperately trying to pull the name of the venue and I couldn't do it. And he well, fucking pulled it out for me. Goddamn professional. Uh, yeah, <laughs> professional comedy host, uh, Blake. <laughs> Uh, are you, you live in Orlando, right? Yep. You ever live coastally? No, born uh, born and raised in uh, Florida and I've always Born lived... on sand, we say. Yeah, man. Born in the, uh, the laced flooded. That's <laughs> part of Florida. So, so you yeah. spend a lot of time uh, in the, in the coast, like playing in the ocean. You ever find anything weird in the ocean? Um, no, not really, because I was never an ocean person. I didn't like going in the water and stuff like that. I get too cold. Even up on the beach, though, you can find some shit sometimes. <laughs> yeah, but I have to be like awake or something. I usually never went to the beach, to be honest. Real quick, lightning round, because it's lightning round. Anybody in the audience find anything cool in the ocean? No, they all find these same drugs. We're in Daytona. Like, what are we talking? If I lived this close to saltwater, all I would do is go fucking looking at for cool shit, man. Especially after a hurricane. Okay, all right. Well, that was a bust. Uh, can only imagine, ghost boys. I can only imagine I'm gonna hear about Sean Finnerty from that uh, about that. Part. All right. Uh, what about Halloween? You like Halloween, Blake? Uh, Halloween's like uh, yeah, it's okay. It's, uh, it's all right. Let's play ball, everybody. Let's uh, go over Blake. Look, I he, I heard lightning round and I heard it correctly. All right. We ain't fucking around. Uh, you gave it up for candy corn earlier. Defend candy corn to me, knowing that your life is on the line. Okay, well listen. Um, no other candy can you eat and immediately think. Like, I can only have like half a bag until like... No, I just like to hurt myself. No other candy can you eat and be like, am I eating a candle? <laughs> right now. Anyway, once you do enough, once you play with enough hot wax, you want it in your mouth. So that's my defense of candy, candy corn. Candy right corn there. is like those fucking wax Dracula teeth. They just the spare <laughs> ones chopped up into the most convenient shape and then painted three colors that have laying around. Candy corn. It goes directly to your gums. That is correct. It goes right there. It just kind of hangs out. It does, and then it co your whole your whole mouth your whole mouth is probably waterproof for the rest of the day because it's basically coated in. Wax. Yes, 100. percent It slides easier, and my mouth smells delicious. Oh, we're talking about today about candy corn. What's your favorite holiday then? What do you do? You like any holidays, or you just? Well, like my favorite holiday is Groundhog's Day. <laughs> it's also my birthday, but thank you. Uh, <laughs> it's the same day, so uh, it's always been. You know who you share a birthday with? Who? You ever heard me do a joke about this? Ayn Rand. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, February 2nd is also Ayn Rand's birthday. Oh, I'm glad she's dead. <laughs> is she not dead? Have you ever read Atlas Shrugged? No. As a novel, I will defend Atlas Shrugged to anybody in this fucking room. It's a fucking great novel about a lady who runs a train company and learns how to fuck. That is Atlas <laughs> If you've never read it, it's worth you. Now, at the very end, when John Gall goes on a 14-page radio address, skip that shit. There's no fucking name. He's just repeating all the shit she said the whole rest of the book anyway. But the rest of the book where Daggy Taggart runs a train company and learns how to fuck, you can learn something on both halves of that book. I'm fucking telling you. That sounds like the plot for Bullet Train 2. <laughs> <laughs> Bullet train too. We set the we set the schedule and then we fuck. Bad Bunny's also in this. <laughs> and then, do you celebrate Groundhog's Day or is this your birthday? So you like that the best? Uh, you know, I I see what Phil's doing. Uh, <laughs> you check it with Puxatani. I have to go with Puxatani. We're not uh, tight like you. My grandfather was from New Jersey, and like, but right. the part that likes Philly stuff. So I have had a connection to Philadelphia my entire life, uh, spiritually. So I have to go with the only. You've had a spiritual connection to Philly your whole life. Yeah, just a sentence. That 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 proves that I'm drinking. <laughs> I don't think since Ben Franklin that has been said. All right, uh, what's you read right now, Blake? Anything good? Oh no, uh, I just read uh, like news articles and stuff like that. So, uh, what's the last book you read? Last time you read a book? It could be high school, homie, if it's been high school. Jesus, uh, I have no idea. Really? You can't even remember the last time you had a book. Now I'm gonna have to buy you a book. That's no, wait, wait. I were I read Bernie Sanders' last uh, memoir, whatever that was, uh, about the 2016 election. <laughs> oh, really? So he wrote a breakdown of the election? Yeah, yeah. What does he think happened? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I think he 
knows who won. I think it was uh, just mostly about the primaries. I was thinking 2008 and stuff like no that. Like his campaigns you, and stuff. No like wonder you team. never read another book. I know, exactly. <laughs> Only because you brought up politics, my favorite Joe Biden moment that happened recently. Uh, Joe Biden recently uh, gave a speech where he addressed a dead lady in the room. Oh, uh, uh, yes, that's funny. Uh, it's a it's a kind of viral clip that went around. Uh, there was also a press conference right after where the, where the press secretary tried to explain why. And she said, well, that lady just recently died. Uh, Joe's been thinking about her a lot. He's meeting with the family. She was at the top of his mind because he's been thinking about her a lot. And that's why he said that. And one of the reporters just went, I think about John Lennon every day and I never look for him. <laughs> she was like, oh, press conference over. I fucking love America. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Blake, you ever seen a ghost or a UFO? Uh, yes, I've seen a no, ghost. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, Sean Finnerty, you Irish piece of shit! Go ahead, Blake. <laughs> I'm glad this, <laughs> that question is just for you. And, <laughs> Uh, my ghost, uh, I was at uh, one of uh, talking my Talking about my ghost. My ghost. Talking about my ghost. <laughs> my ghost. Uh, <laughs> My ghost was, uh, it was weird, I was like a, a kid at the time, and uh, I woke up seeing a, like, a, a hanger with a shirt on, like one of my shirts on it, come flying towards me, and like land on my bed. Whoa! Yeah, dude, full on, like, throwing stuff, and so like, I was worried about that, so I woke up, like, right, and I was, like, concerned about it, and so I came out. Um, to my living room, TV had turned itself on because uh, there was nobody on the couch, like on the couch at the time, and like TV turned itself on. I looked over to uh, like our like living room area, and there was like a woman like working on our ceiling fan. What? Dude, it was incredible. And I was like, that's that can't what? that right? Like that's my mom. And I walked over, walked through, and I was like, I'm going to bed. Fuck this. Woo! <laughs> I'm how excited you are for this. <laughs> I would like to invite Sean Ferry to officially eat my fucking ass. That's awesome. On the podcast. Okay. Uh, Blake, who's got the best hots in town? Oh, I, uh, whichever one's made in your mama's kitchen. How about that? <laughs> Don't laugh. I don't, I don't, don't laugh. Don't laugh. No, 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 it's fine. I don't Minnie, who's got the best hots We didn't ask you. Minnie, who's got the best hots in town? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I've never been there. Thanks, Minnie. All right. Remember <laughs> for Blake Butler, you guys. Blake Butler is tonight on Toss and Draws.